Hello Gemini, welcome to your elemental love reading. This reading is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in partnership or seeking partnership with a fire sign. So a Sagittarius, a Leo, a Aries. That being stated, this will still be a general reading. So not all the information or energies coming through are going to resonate with each and every one of you out there. Please take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your own Moon, Rising, Venus signs for additional messages. You guys know how this works. And last but not least, do not make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading because not all the informations or energies would be available to you in a general read. So if you're looking for something tailored to you, please do get a private reading. And for me, you can find that information in the detail box down below. For the month of May until the 31st, I am running and actually 50% off, so what is my, my love readings that generally run, $20 are right now discounted down to $10 until May 31st. That being stated, one last announcement before we jump into your reading, Gemini. I'm going to give a great big shout out and a great big thank you to all my Gemini subscribers. We have reached over 250 subscribers, and since we just started in January, I find that a very big accomplishment, so thank you. Without all of you, none of this would be very possible. I wouldn't be able to bring these messages that I so do enjoy. So thank you. With much gratitude, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel, I promise I don't always talk this much at the beginning. And do please do think, consider and think about subscribing to the channel. Get your energies intermixed with ours. It's the best way to show up here on the table as I set my intentions towards my subscribers. Also, these readings are timeless. I just date them to help you find them easier or for them to be able to show up, you know, on the YouTube platform. That being stated, whenever you do find yourself here, know this is when you are meant to hear the message. Cross watchers are welcome, but do know that my main focus will be on Gemini and the messages coming through could be reversed. So if you're finding that over here, I'm talking about Gemini and it more suits you, feel free to swap the roles. All right, blah, 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 all done with that. Let's get started into your reading. Gemini, you are coming through with Hawk Energy. This is a beautiful energy to be encompassing. This is definitely your air element, so you're definitely feeling your element right now. And the, you know, the Hawk is, you know, that laser focus. I feel like you guys are watching something, waiting for something very um, carefully, very wisely is what I'm picking up with this Hawk. Also, this is a blessings coming into you. There's a message from the divine. Fate is at work. Shifts are happening for you. Um, you may not quite see them yet for some of you. Some of you are already feeling that energy. But shifts are coming. The divine is at work. It's all about timing. But something is definitely at work here for you right now. Beautiful. The person that you're coming through... <clears throat> Is coming through as the hyena, the person that you're thinking of and set your attentions towards. They're coming through as the hyena. This is fire energy. But the hyena is a very interesting card for me. This is somebody who wears a mask, a false mask to be exact. They hide behind witticism, um, not criticism, but witticism and humor and sarcasm to really hide what they're truly feeling. Um, so that they don't feel vulnerable, actually. The hyena um, is actually somebody who is feeling a lot of things. that has a lot going on. But they use these as defensive mechanisms so that the other, so they don't seem serious. It's like this would be somebody's energy that no matter what the topic is, they're cracking a joke. They're being sarcastic. They're not taking anything serious or so it seems, but know that that actually is a mask that they're wearing. Again, fire element, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. All right. From the soulmate manifest stack, you are getting, life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can. So this is basically saying, now is the time to really live it up and enjoy your life. Make it memorable. Make those memories. <laughs> and your person is getting love yourself as much as you would want your soulmate to love you. I feel like for some of my Geminis, this message can also suit you. 
if you've been trying to give this person a lot of love and affection, and again, you're being met with that sarcasm, with the cracking the jokes and the humor and the witticism, and you're feeling like you're kind of talking to a wall, remember that it's okay to focus more of that love that you've been sharing out on yourself at this time. Give that love that you would want to see return from them to yourself. All right. So let's look at the Romance Angels. You're coming through with make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And I really feel that with that hawk energy, with that you knowing that these you know shifts are happening. I feel like there is some things that you are being guided to take. Steps that you know, and, and with that walk hawk eyes and wisdom, really feel like you're seeing that or going to be seeing it very soon. All right, and they're getting this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, and I feel like you don't have any idea, Gemini, because this person is hiding all this with a hyena. All right, so the main theme, the main impact, problem, solution, issue, whatever it is for your connection, it is coming through with new beginnings. Very beautiful card. Very beautiful message. I'm just going to read a little bit. This is from the Sacred Destiny Oracle, and I love these cards. They have beautiful messages, and they're always right on point. Your life is expanding, there's those shifts, in profound and wondrous ways. New experience and ideas are emerging. Vitality and wide-open opportunities are at hand. Seize the day. This is a perfect time to begin with new projects or give birth to emerging ideas. Timing is everything, and the time is now. Anything and everything is possible. Good fortune awaits you. The rising sun is the ultimate symbol of the yang principle. Expanding power and activity. You are radiant and luminous. There is a glow within you that can be felt by all. Very beautiful. So new beginnings is what is happening between the two of you. All right. Now we're going to take a look at the tarot. I'm going to pull cards for past, present, future energy for you, your person. And the shared energy between you. I already pre shuffled the deck, so let's get started. All right, so past energy for you. Jim and I were getting the Three of Pentacles. So this could be many different things. I'm feeling for a lot of you, this is about partnership. You are willing and wanting to work together for a partnership for a lot of my Geminis. For some of you, this would have been put in a lot of effort or work into a situation. For some of you, it could also indicate that you were willing and open to working with somebody. I could have been working on a group project here for some of you. All right. So what they're coming out with the Ace of Wands. A passionate new idea, a passionate new beginning, a spark of creative creativity here with that Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning. Shared energy between you was the Knight of Swords. This is a truthful impulsive energy here. This is taking action, sometimes impulsively. We'll get clarifications on that in just a minute. All right, so this is that's all past energy. So let's see what current energy we're in. Gemini, you're coming through with the Eight of Swords. So you're feeling a bit stuck, unable to get out of a way of thinking, acting, behaving, and moving in any direction. Some of you may be stuck in any situation. Um, for the state of the world, it's even feeling stuck at home. Uh, your person is coming through with the Hermit, the card of Virgo here. So this is them taking a step back. This is them trying to get enlightenment. This is them trying to understand what their next best move should be. Shared energy between you is the Two of Cups, being open to partnership, coming together, to becoming one. With those Two of Cups joining together, being open to sharing your life together. Your emotions, your ideas, your thoughts, your day. Beautiful energy. All right. Future energy coming in for you. Jim and I, we got the Ten of Cups. That's out of that universal fairy tale blessings here. The cups overflowing in joy, love, and bliss. This is the happy couple. The happy family. Happy at work. Happy at life. This is the joy and bliss. This is fairy tale love right here. Absolutely. They're getting the Three of Cups. 
this is celebration, good news. Um, reasons coming in to feel exuberated. Reconciliation for some. Shared energy between you is the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy there. But this is taking passionate action. Absolutely. All right, overall energy of this reading is the Ten of Wands. So something has been very stressful. And we're ready to lay that burden down. Move on to new beginnings. I love it. And hidden energy, the Ace of Swords. Truthful new beginning. Tr truth, knowledge, wisdom here. Clarity with this Ace of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we're getting the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be stagnated or slow-moving energy. Energy that you may not even see moving because it's moving so slow. All right, Gemini, let's get some clarity. All right, we're not going to take this. <laughs> Let's get some clarifications on the cards on the table. Start with the Three of Pentacles, Past Energy. We're getting the Hanged Man, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Three of Wands. So this is passion. This is waiting for those ships to come in. Intentions were set here. I feel like this was you wanting to offer somebody or being offered... A, a new beginning and uh, or refill of refill here of that cup of love. This was an offer being made with this knight of cups. Now either you were making it or you were receiving, but yet no action was being taken. But I get the sense that you know it was possibly you, Gemini, making this offer because I see you open and willing to work on this partnership, work on this together. Really focused on your future. Really the intent here is set to work a, on a partnership. And I feel like they're the ones that didn't take any action. Because yeah, right behind there is that Three of Pentacles. Alright, so let's see here. Why is the Ace of Wands here in the past position for Gemini's person? Uh, Gemini. Two of Pentacles. The Star. Hmm. So they, they knew this passionate beginning was here with you, Gemini. They felt it. You made them happy. But there was something in their life of the situation at the time that left them unbalanced. I feel like there was a lot of chaos around this person. A lot of emotional turmoil that they were trying to get a handle on or keep a handle on is when I'm picking up. And with this star, there was this, you know, deep need here for This is all about healing. And keeping focus through the chaos, not losing sight on what you truly want. And I feel like they truly wanted you. I feel like you, they they made you, you made them very happy here. This is the happiest card of the tarot, the sun. The page of cups is here. So there's that offer. But I feel like they lacked the stability. And there's something that, I get the sense there was something they feared here. So let's see what this knight of swords shared energy between the two of you were here the Nine of Wands, yep, the Page of Wands, the Card of Cancer, the Chariot, yeah, there was confusion, somebody acted impulsively, somebody was defensive, I feel like there was passionate messages going back and forth here, there was a sense of wanting to move forward, but there was somebody was very confused, the Tower came in, maybe there was some secrets that were being hidden, I feel like this was this person's true intention, true feelings. All right, so that's what kind of where we're at. Let's sum this up. There was an offer made, either to you, Gemini, or from you, and somebody didn't take any action on it. They were wounded and defensive. I feel like, you know, there was, this was passionate communication going forth, but impulsive, impulsive actions, impulsive behaviors, wanting to move this forward, but it's not moving forward here. They were trying to stay balanced and trying to heal whatever they were hiding. A lot of confusion. All right, so what's this Eight of Swords energy? Current energy for my Gemini. Two of Swords, Crossroads, Ace of Wands, uh-huh. And the Wheel of Fortune. There's that destiny coming in. All right, so there you are, those that, uh, Two of Swords. That's a Crossroads energy. Is this a sailmate? Yes, but I'm also seeing the sense that there's something that you are trying to see with that hawk. You're going to see it. You're, look at both these. I feel like spirits coming in and they're opening your eyes with this hawk. 
Is there something you have been failing to see with the eight? You know, the both these are blindfolded. And there's a passionate new spark, creativity, offer, project, beget, new beginning here. It's all about new beginnings. And it's here for you currently, right now, in this moment. And it's divinely timed. It is destiny at work. And I feel with the hawk, that's the divinity coming in. They're opening your eyes. They're getting you to see something very crystal clear. Yeah. With focus. A lot of focus is what I'm getting. Very focused. All right. So what is this hermit? For Gemini's person and current energy, please. What is this hermit? I'm getting the four of wands. Judgment. The Knight of Swords. Yep. The Six of Pentacles. They're trying to bring themselves into balance. They want to enter into this commitment with you, but they're trying to make peace with their past. They want to take action. They want to move towards you very quickly. They do have shared love for you. They want this victory, but they're caught up in the past grief and regret of something with their past. Something that I feel like they have not divulged to you at this point in time. All right, could be with a earth sign, does not have to be, but I keep seeing the pentacles there, the queen or the king. Yep, look there. They want this family with you. They want to build this life with you. They want to take this lead. This is, you know, Leo, part of Leo here. Um, king of Wands usually for me represents Leo, but it could be Sagittarius or Aries. I, usually, usually Leo or Aries, but... They are wanting to build this. They're wanting to take that lead. Look at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Wands. That rarely, rarely happens for me. They know that you're the divine counterpart, Gemini. They know it. They find you attractive, transformative energy. They find you breathtaking, untouchable, um, mystical, magical. Like they, they, they feel it. A lot of passion for you. Wow. So what is this two of cups shared energy between Gemini and the person? Yeah, there com there's conflict here, maybe happening between you, little petty arguments, disagreements, or this is internal conflict going on within both of you about whether or not to move this forward to communicate, wanting to come into partnership. Yeah, wanting to take that action. Do I or don't I? I'm getting that sense. Do I or don't I? Will I have this in the beginning or, I, or won't I? This is back and forth energy between the two of you. Um, we're getting the devil at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy showing up here. But this is, you know, there could be some addiction, some toxicity, some, you know, unhealthy patterns here. Some maybe obsessive thoughts. I feel like it's this hyena. All right. So let's see here. The Ten of Cups, future energy. Ah, the tower is coming in, the Ten of Cups, <laughs> and Libra energy there with the Justice card. There is the offer, the little token offer of stability here. I feel like the tower is coming in. It's with this message. It's all divinely timed. It's what you haven't been able to see. I feel like this person is going to let the cards fall where they may. I feel like the mask is coming off with this tower. And what I'm seeing is the Ten of Cups and ten, the Ten of Cups twice here. This is leading to that emotional fulfillment. Those cups overflowing in joy, bliss, love, happiness in all aspects of your life. It's that fairy tale, dream come true, forever love here. Building that emotional empire. And it will be fair and just and equal. Yeah, there's that Queen of Wands, the Six of Cups soulmate energy. I, I do feel like as this is coming in, I mean, the tower is going to shake things up, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Yeah, that's too many. What is this three of cups energy? Okay, there's the queen of swords, seven of wands, the moon, ah, the empress, the vine. Feminine energy showing up in this reading. I love it. All right. So they got the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Moon with this Three of Cups. They're wanting to, a reason to celebrate. This may even be them wanting a reconciliation. They have a lot of fears. Cancer, Pisces energy with the Moon. This is the, things that they can't see. This is those that hidden side. 
I feel with that tower, it's being exposed, and this really has them fearful. They're afraid you're going to cut them out, and they want to overcome this. They know in order to get to this place, they have to tell this truth. So with this Queen of, of Swords here, I feel like that's what this is, them speaking their truth. That they're scared. They're overcoming their fear to do this. For a lot of you, they're overcoming the fear to speak their truth about creating this beautiful new beginning, building this life. They may even see you as a mother or for my feminines out there, um, wanting to have children to, you know, this motherly figure, um, nurturing energy. They could see you that way. Some of you may have children. Um, this could be about, you know, wanting to start a family with you and have that whole, you know, beautiful life. But I get the sense, you know, this is them. They're, they know that you are someone very special, very powerful. And they know in order to be able to, to create this with you, they have to speak their truth. And they have to overcome the past in order to do that, overcome this fear to get to that point. All right, so let's see. What is this Knight of Wands energy? Or shared energy between the two. Future energy here. Yep. Taking action, making a small but solid offer. Okay, we can take that. There's that Ace of Swords. What did I say? Speaking the truth. Got the clarity needed. The King of Cups. Unconditional love here. There needs to be some healing. Some contemplation is going to take some place here. But it's beautiful. Alright, so let's see where my Gemini's are currently energetically towards this connection. Where is, or this person, where is my Gemini's currently? Step out of your comfort zone, okay? And have faith in your dreams. Yeah, I feel like for my, for my Gemini's, a lot of you don't really like leaving things hanging, letting destiny take the wheel. I feel like for a lot of you, you like to be in charge. And this is really kind of needing to step back and, and let spirit come in and let that wheel of destiny turn for what it needs to do here. Yeah, emotions are running high. All right, so how are this Gemini's person currently feeling towards my Gemini and this connection, please? How is Gemini's person currently feeling? Fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Some of you may be tingling with Aries, and they're being told surrender to the divine. Yeah, I would. They've been hiding behind masks. That tower is coming in, and it's going to expose all that. That's going down. They know it. They know it. And your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. I feel like someone here has some placement in Capricorn because Capricorn's showing up a little bit too much in this reading. All right, so future energy of this connection, please. Future energy of this connection. What do we have for my Gemini? Future energy for this connection. Meditate and compliment. Contemplate. Okay, new moon in Pisces. What else do we have here? Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. All right. One more, please, for this connection. Future of this connection. One more, please. A time for healing, which we've seen with that Four of Swords. And communication is key. New Moon and Gemini, which we've seen with the Ace of Swords all over the place. All right, so what I am getting <laughs> with what this means is future energy of this connection. Gemini, you're being guided to meditate and contemplate, meaning don't take any action. Allow spirit to do its job here. Allow destiny to come in and let that wheel turn. Very important. This is being harped on, so let that happen. If you got to meditate, spend some time out, do what you got to do there. This person has to communicate because this is it. This is the key. And there needs to be a healing taking place between the two of you individually, I feel. So this, this is all kind of going together. Meditate, contemplate, heal, 
Let the communication happen and bring love into the situation. Bottom of the deck here, we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. This is about fantasy versus reality. It's good to fantasize, and but sometimes we, we spend too much time doing that. And we need to bring it down a notch and, and get some practicality to our plans. You know, have faith in your dreams. Make sure your dreams have a practical plan. So, so when you're spending that time meditating and contemplating, Gemini, that would be a good time to come up with that practical plan. All right. That is all I have for you. I feel like this was a, an incredible, beautiful reading. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if it resonated with you. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next time. Stay safe. Remember to live in light and love always. Bye for now.